I'm Kathy Reagan Young with FUMSnow.com, and I'm here with my friend Erin Glaze, who is a what? What, <laughs> what do what? I call you? What, you're a, I know you're a PT, but what, right. what's like the technical term? I am a pelvic floor physical therapist, and I actually work at a urology practice. <laughs> um, okay, yes, she is, but most importantly, she's my friend, and she's your friend too. She's your pelvic floor friend, or she will be by the time we're done with this. Um, we are old, dear friends. We started a business together years ago, and that's a whole nother story. A whole other story. Over it wine, was not fun. tea. It, it was, was fun. fun. It was a blast. It, it was, was a blast. Fun. That's yes. how we got together. Yes. And so we've remained friends all these years, and then. At a Panera not too long ago, yep, yep. we're talking, um, and I was telling her about hearing from you all um, a lot of questions about what turns out to be pelvic floor questions. <laughs> Who knew? Right. I knew there was a lot of pee and poop questions being asked, <laughs> right. and hemorrhoids, and everything else, um, and all things MS related um, to that area. But I didn't really put it together that she's the one that. Ask, which of is course, odd. we're sitting in a Panera, <laughs> yeah, Panera, having lunch together, completely Talking about just that. girl thing, yeah. you know, getting together, hadn't seen you in right. a while, and Kathy asked me the loaded question about <laughs> pee and poop in yeah. Panera. If you know me at <laughs> all, poop you know I'm going to talk about it yeah. wherever, oh, yeah. whenever. Yeah. So at some point, I'm sure... Ad nauseum. <laughs> I'm just saying. we got to dial it down sometimes. Right. It's, That's okay, because it's very <laughs> interesting stuff, and it's... It, it's uh, I didn't have the answers to these questions, and I wanted the answers. I just think it's hilarious that I've known you for so many years and never thought to ask. You're not the first friend that didn't think to ask that, for sure. And most of the time, though, it is over wine, not at the Panera. <laughs> yeah. But we did educate yeah. some of those Panera patients. Yes. We noticed people were... leaning in towards the end of the <laughs> exactly. conversation. Because exactly. this, is, this is universal. I mean, we're talking in terms of MS. Absolutely. But it's a universal issue. It is a universal issue, and nobody knows anything. Well, not I shouldn't say that. That's very too broad a statement. But people really do not understand how their body down there works. And I have become very, very passionate about it. So um, my friends can ask me anywhere questions about how. Even Panera. Exactly. <laughs> how the downstairs works and um, I'm going to give you straight up answers to the best of my ability. So here we are. Here we are. And Kathy now calls me her pelvic floor friend. And she will be your pelvic floor friend too. Which is hilarious. <laughs> Happy to be anybody's Ooh. pelvic floor friend yeah. because I am very passionate about this. And ultimately the plan is um, we are writing a book, an ebook. I Once I put it together that she's the chick to ask these questions of, um, I asked her to write a book and about this stuff and um, bowel and bladder issues in, in multiple sclerosis. It, it, here's the title. <laughs> I did the first part. She did yes. the second part. Yes. Just and, to be clear. Right. And to explain <laughs> further, I said to her about writing this book, how about if you write the smart thinky part and I write the smart ass part? Because we're both very well suited for those parts. So exactly. it's, I even wrote it down because we've gone around and around about this. It is. Bowel and bladder issues in multiple sclerosis, identification, treatment, and prevention. Prevention especially. I knew she'd say that. Identification, treatment, yeah. Okay. And then the subheading. <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> Two pea brains with potty mouths talking shit about MS. Woohoo! Yes. And that's P as in P E E, right? She never I thinks anybody's to gonna get that. that. Right. People get that, Erin. You're the only one that it took a beat before I, you got yeah, that. It did take a beat before I got that, so it, it is, but I love it. That's why I love Kathy, because she's always. This is the get dynamic. That. And so we're writing this book, and we wanted to answer some questions along the way. We put out a quick survey. And got an enormous response. I think, awesome. you know, in 48 like, hours, like wow. 90 people wow. answered and 57 questions. Ooh. And they're still coming in. It's that phenomenal. That kind of gives me goosebumps because it shows, literally, look, if we if we had somebody filming, I'd make them go in here. But we can't yes. afford that. She's so excited about, about this stuff. On an iPhone. Yes, because I think that demonstrates... A need. How much people need to know yeah. and just a, a resource of information that's going to help them make good decisions about their own care. Yeah. And so you can, don't be embarrassed. Don't be afraid to ask. Nothing is off limits. 
Um, when we started talking about the book, it was going to be bowel, bladder, and sex, but we recognize sex is a whole book unto itself. Mm -hmm. So look for that one after we come out with this one. Right. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update on who we are and why we're doing this, and we've got this ebook coming out, but in the meantime, we're going to be answering your questions. So feel free to put in the questions down below <laughs> here on YouTube, um, or you can email your questions to me, Kathy with a K, K A T H Y, at F U M S now.com. And you can, by the way, if you go to F U M S now.com, you can sign up for the newsletter right there, and you'll be amongst the first to know when the ebook comes out. Um, and any, we offer a lot of tips and tricks for living your best life with MS as well. So, so let's get started. Let's get started. Can I just explain a little bit about what a pelvic floor therapist is? Because even yes, one of my dearest friends, who has known me for so many years, doesn't really get it. And I think that that's important because most people don't really understand. Unfortunately, there aren't enough of us. Enough of therapists, physical therapists, who have chosen to specialize in pelvic floor treatment. It's a growing, growing um, field, but not enough. And we'll talk later about some resources to finding somebody in your area. Basically, as a pelvic floor specialist, what we look at is the pelvic floor muscles, the pelvic girdle muscles, and that how they affect... What? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bowel, bladder, and sexual function, as well as core stability. Because a lot of issues that people will, will blame on their bladder or their bowel, say, oh, doctor, I'm having problems with leaking something wrong with my bladder. I have to go all the time. There's something wrong with my bladder. In reality, there's a lot of those issues that are more directly related to the pelvic floor muscles. And the cool thing about the pelvic floor muscles is that we can actually control those. You can't consciously control your, thunk. <laughs> for you real, can. for real, you can't. <clears throat> so you can't really control your bladder. So if your bladder is, don't we all know that? Exactly. So if your bladder starts pushing and you have a feeling of I have to go, I have to go right now, um, you can do some things and we're going to talk about that. But one of the things that you can control is the muscles in your pelvis and you can do some exercises that will help you to calm down the bladder. That's because those muscles are under voluntary control, meaning you can contract them and work them just like you do your biceps. But your bladder and your bowel are under um, autonomic nervous system, which means you can't... Here comes that right, scientific so stuff. You can't... It, it's not something that you can just think, okay, you can't think I'm gonna stop my heart from beating because your heart is under autonomic nervous system control as well. But you can say, I'm going to lift my leg. So that's voluntary control. Back to the peeing. I mean, <laughs> this is also for men, speaking of lift your leg. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. You see, smart thinking, smart ass. Right, so that's a pelvic floor therapist. Awesome. So. Well, thanks for the clarification. Absolutely. Let's get to some questions, shall awesome. we? Yes. Let's go for it. Okay, so let's let's start with a question All then. Right. Actually, this one's more of a comment first. It says, I'd like to know what others who have MS have done about these problems in their lives and what, if anything, worked for them. I feel the only people who qualify as MS experts are people who have MS. So, <clears throat> I do. I have MS and um, I can relate and as, you know, the owner, founder, whatever, of FUMSnow.com, I hear from people every single day ar around the world. And, uh, you know, the unifying factor is that we have MS. And, of course, as we all know, that can mean a lot of different things, and every day can be different. But there's a lot of similar questions um, about bowel and bladder, and that's Absolutely. what we're here about. So, again, smart thinky, smart ass, but also running it through the MS filter. Right, and I hope that whatever, you know, I say, I think the beauty of this is whatever I say, Kathy is going to make sure that she understands. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so, not I'm you. Being, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Not being a healthcare pro professional or that's not your right. job um, is going to really, really help this dynamic of um, helping you guys to understand 
the answers. Yeah. Um, and helping you understand our issues. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I see... Like, that doesn't make sense for us. Exactly. Whatever. Exactly. And, you know, I've been a pelvic floor therapist for um, a long time. A, <laughs> a long time. And I know that that doesn't make me the expert. But I have seen a lot of patients. And I've seen a lot of She's seen a lot of... <laughs> And um, so, you know, I try to be understanding, but I do think that this is, is going to be the perfect dynamic yeah. for that. And I don't know everything. Um, and we're definitely going to point you to resources for finding the right answers because I certainly do not know everything. Yeah. Oh, disclaimer. Yes. See your doctor. <laughs> See your exactly. doctor. We're not giving you, <laughs> we're not giving you <laughs> medical advice. We're answering questions exactly. to the best of our ability. She is a medical expert. In this pelvic floor, but it's really important you see your doctor. Because you are all different. You are all yeah. individuals. But I think, you know, another thing that hopefully will help is that you'll have um, some questions, some really pointed questions to ask your doctor. Yeah, right. And not be embarrassed about it. Yeah. Because there's this is a part of your body that functions and doesn't function just like any other part. And that's right. the hardest part sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, for well, patients. And yeah. the other thing I wanted to say, and this is true in this circumstance, but true in a lot of circumstances, and that is uh, it doesn't really matter if it's MS related. I know that's a question I keep seeing, Absolutely. and it doesn't, I couldn't care less. Well, I do care, but not really. It, the bottom line is let's fix it. Mm -hmm. it. Whether it's related to MS or not, you know, let's find an answer and let's fix it. So, right. Um, and, and this hopefully will help you have the vocabulary uh, to bring to your doctor and ask about. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Absolutely. you can ask here first and then bring what you learn from us to your doctor, too. So exactly. it's just really important to see your doctor and talk to him about this. Or her. Her. Talk to her about this. Okay. So let's get <laughs> to the questions. Enough talking. Um, well, this is perfect. When do we know it's connected to MS and not a bug? I mean, does it? It doesn't matter right and I'm gonna agree with that get there, it fixed exactly there were several questions I think when I was reviewing the questions and those kind of struck me as um, being very important to address you know I think one of the questions I don't know if you have that Kathy where she said you know I've had children yeah, yeah yeah that's coming up next how do you identify the bladder issues with MS how do you know it's not from having four children or just my age which is 45 right and here's a big thing Again, I'm just going to repeat what Kathy already said. It doesn't matter because you're an individual and you need to be treated as such. So I see patients all the time who come in who are not diagnosed with MS, who have overactive bladder. And you think, oh, that's just maybe for our elderly population. Not true. I see young, young women who come in and have overactive bladder, urinary frequency, and urgency. They don't have MS. So when my MS patients come in, and they have MS, it's always the first question. It's, is this related to my MS? Is this my MS causing this? And I say the same thing. I don't know, let's look and let's see, but we're still going to address your treatment because you can still treat yourself. If, if I were to say, oh yes, it's your MS, sorry, bye-bye, you know, I'm not doing my job because you absolutely can treat the same symptoms using the same techniques that I would for anybody. I have a point to make and a question to ask. Absolutely. You just said something about you treat this all the time and very young women Absolutely. come to you as well. How about men? Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Right? Because I didn't you. know that either. This mm -hmm. came as a shock to me too, that right. men are need treatment as well. Exactly. But they have a pelvis too. <laughs> men have Kegel muscles. They do. Unreal. I ask, they'll come in and, they'll, and I'll say, well, have you ever heard of a Kegel? You know, I'm doing my little education. Have you heard of a Kegel? And so often they'll say, well, isn't that the female muscle? Yeah. So I whip out my anatomy. Kathy will tell you I'm good on the anatomy book. It's always book. there. Whip out the anatomy book. And at I her house, <laughs> she's had it. It's so, not even at Halloween. <laughs> so I'll say, look, you have the same muscles. So yes, men have pelvic floor muscles. Men can do a kegel. Men should be doing kegels, just like women should be doing kegels. And they kegels. have the same issues with the urgency and the frequency, frequency and right. all of that kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly. 